Rutgers loses one of the most uh, exciting playmakers in the Big Ten. Uh, what do they have to back up Leonte Carew in 2016? We bring in Scott Logan from On the Banks uh, representing SB Nation for Rutgers football. Scott, it's always a good time. Love the breakdown of personnel, and you got a big hole to fill. Leonte Carew was one of those guys that when he was on the field, the Rutgers game plan, the outlook of the, the team, the approach, everything just completely changed because he drew that much attention to the defense. And even though he got banged up a little bit in 2015, he still made huge plays. Yeah, you said it best. Uh, he was a dynamic player, a true athlete, uh, always got it done in the clutch. You know, you look at, uh, I think back to 2013, uh, there's two fourth quarter touchdowns against Arkansas to get that big win and a huge comeback. Um, that was just a, a microcosm of what he was able to do at Rutgers. Um, always one of the best receivers I've seen in Scarlet Knights history. So he's going to be missed. Yeah, and as you mentioned, the Miami Dolphins felt uh, uh, enough about his ability to trade up for him and grab him in the third round. Uh, good knowledge from you before we jumped on board here. So now you got a three wide receiver set that uh, includes uh, Andre Patton, who caught 34 balls with a touchdown last season. Also, uh, Janarian Grant, we've seen quite a bit of him, had a huge game against Maryland, uh, caught 35 balls as well, and Carlton Agadosi. So three wide receivers, probably none of them in Carew's league, but maybe as a, as a triplets of sorts, they, they could get the job done. Yeah, the, um, the three of them represent... Uh, the three ideals you look for in receivers. You have Grant, who's a speedster, who I think is going to really thrive in this new offense, the new power spread. You have uh, Patton, who I think is just the overall possession receiver. And you have Agadosi, who's a, a giant red zone threat and also a deep threat. So the three of them, I think, combine to you know cover all the bases a uh, wide receiver can. But I think uh, Grant is primed for a huge year. He seems to be a perfect fit for the Drew Merringer offense. You know, it's going to be interesting to see how all these guys are utilized, but just based on what we've seen from Grant, even in the spring game, uh, I think we're going to see a lot of uh, a lot of good stuff from him this year. Yeah, and as you mentioned, Angadosi, uh, despite catching half as many passes as the other two, scored three touchdowns to the other uh, two wide receivers and also more yards per catch uh, getting down the field. Uh, in regards to backup play at wide receiver after the top three, uh, how's the outlook there? I mean, those are going to be your top three guys. Um, after that, it's a little bit of a drop-off. You have a guy like Vance Matthews, who I've seen some potential in, um, a good possession receiver. I, mean, I think he's going to be that number four guy. You also have a, a couple of guys that were freshmen last year that didn't see the field too much in uh, Dante Owens and Rashad Blunt. You know, they're going to get a chance. And uh, maybe even some of the incoming freshman guys, like Muhammad Jabby, could see the field. Uh, I think those top three guys are your top three guys by a long shot, but – you know, it's going to be interesting to see how the backups play, play out, especially learning this new offense. Despite the uh, change in uh, coaching staffs, uh, Rutgers known for running the ball and running it between the tackles, a, a fine power running game. You bring back uh, two of your best running backs. Uh, the tight end factors into that, obviously, blocking. Uh, and uh, Matt Flanagan uh, was the guy that caught the most passes, at least for you last year. Yeah, I think he's going to be that guy again this year. Um, I imagine he's going to start every game at tight end. You know, we, we still haven't gotten a good read on how the tight end is going to be utilized in this offense. I think we could still see him as a primary blocker because there's really no elite pass catching tight end on the Rutgers roster right now. But I think Flanagan's going to be that guy. You know, you're going to see him get uh, a couple of targets per game, mostly going to be a blocker. Uh, but I also wouldn't count out a guy named, uh, I'm probably going to botch it, but Nakia Griffin Stewart. Uh, he's a incoming redshirt freshman. Uh, very athletic, very big. I think he's going to get a chance too, uh, but Flanagan's going to be the guy for the most part. All right, Scott Logan, bring in uh, the Rutgers colors. I love the gear. Looking Thank good. You, Scott Logan from On the Banks. Breaking down wide receivers in place of Leonte Carew. We'll have to get familiar with these guys heading into 2016. Appreciate the breakdown, Scott. Anytime, Mark.